man. How y'all doing? It's Testimony Tuesday, y'all, and I told y'all I got, I got something nice for y'all. I'm here with my brother Jay, man. I ain't gonna talk too much. I'm gonna let him take over, man. He got a crazy testimony for y'all, and we just gonna let him do it, man. Take off, man. Just tell uh, us about it, man. Uh, well, for me, for a lot of people who don't know me, I'm um, Jay Primers, and uh, got into the to the whole walk with God thingy. Uh, my mom, first of all, uh, had us as a young age. We she had sit us around her bed and. Uh, we'd pray before we open up the Bible to make us understand it. That's how she taught us how to read it. And uh, that's how the first time that I can remember her playing that in our head, you know what I mean? And, uh, and then from there, from the kid all the way up to, you know, when she passed, I always was rocking the fence, you know what I mean? Like, I say I'm doing this with God and I go to church, pay my tithes and offering, leave and go back doing whatever I was doing in the streets. Uh, Growing up, uh, my whole family, we, we banged blood, you know what I mean? Like, that's what that's what we was, and, you know what I mean? A lot of them still is, but uh, on my end, I, uh, my mama, man, she was she was uh, pretty much everything that guided me to the, to the place that I need to be right now. Uh, she would uh, introduce me to sports, uh, all this stuff. She knew the games was there, you know what I mean? She knew that. I mean, our family member was in it, so it was the drugs, all that stuff was around me 24-7. Uh, messing around with it, uh, was able to get my fingers into everything. Like, So I was a sponge, basically, you know what I mean? Uh, I had an uncle, man, that did construction. I watched him, then I had another uncle that's banging, that's selling the drugs and all that. So. Uh, as a kid, you know what I mean? My mom always told me, uh, be careful who you entertain. You know what I mean? You could be entertaining the angels. I mean, it's kids that soaking you up, soaking up your game from you and all that. And I was that kid at that moment, watching two uncles that never knew I was watching them. Uh, the uncle that did construction was simple life. You know what I mean? Go to work, come home, raising his family. My other uncle, the man, I mean, whips, money, girls, everything. But he do go to jail. I see when he go to jail and he come back out, he got to start over from square one. But my other uncle is still on the same platform. It might not look like he's doing nothing, you know what I mean? Because he's not, he not flashy or, or doing anything crazy. But this uncle I done seen go to jail plenty of times and have to start all over again. I mean, he shine again, but he, he got to start back over from scratch. To where now, I'm older now and my uncle's one of them retire and own almost a whole block of houses. Don't do nothing if you don't want to, but got crazy buku money. Right. The other uncle is ain't no future in that. Nothing. Man. You know what I mean? So uh, I caught on quick. You know what I mean? Uh, I seen cousins the same way. I caught on quick, and uh, it was from there when I was uh, I, I started. Uh, I didn't like to be vocal, so my mom gave me a binder and told me to start writing what I feel. Uh, I mean, what I really feel as far as anything in life. So I write that to God all the time. Like I write to him on how I wanted a woman that uh, to marry her when she, you know, that been through a lot so I can spoil her, all this stuff, mm -hmm. like all that. And I'm talking about everything that I asked for, I mean, he gave it to me. But uh, in the midst of me growing up, uh, you just see, you just seen what was winning in the black community, no matter what, man, you you can be, you, your next door neighbor could be a NBA player that was coming up, but he's not winning the the community, you know what I mean? The, what was winning the community was that, that gang banger, the drug dealers, you know what I mean? So, uh, as I got older, uh, like I said, me and my cousin, young father was, we started getting in the music, uh, gospel music, and uh, he was like, um, I mean, he more pulled me in to it because I was just like too shy for it. You know what I mean? He was like, come on, man, just get on stage and rock with me. You know what I mean? Uh, that would have got me in there. But with him, we started getting into these contests and everything. And one day, man, I was just sitting in this pizza place before we got on stage. And uh, it was raining outside, so the windows was foggy. And right hand to the guy, man, all I did was write a J and a G. 
They know what it meant. You know what I mean? And that's when Jesus Gang started. I'm right there. And, um, it was it was real, man, because after that, I, I didn't know who else to grab on to because my mom was gone in 2011. And this happened after. So when she left, it was just like, uh, this was my new uh, comfort. You know what I mean? Like, my mama was my comfort at first, so, but now this JG thing he started. And I have kids coming like, man, I want to be down with JG. And I was like, man, as long as you preaching his name, his, and you know, you just going around and, and you representing him, you JG, you know? And the kids were like, that easy? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, that easy, just simple. Nothing else, that simple. And uh, that's when I started saying like, we have to, in order to, to win the community, bro, you have to, you have to talk their language. You gotta, you gotta walk their walk, bro. Since I was already there and I seen that side, then I'm, now I'm on this side, it was easy for me to be like, walk right in there. My wife always told me like, you got a gift of kids that's just, they glue to you. And I remember waking up one day and, uh, I was I was dipped one day while well, I was fresh, boy. you know what I mean? I was just like, man, I'm, sw I'm swaggy. And uh, I can hear him, man, he was just like, you think you think you did that, huh? I'm like, yeah, I put it on, you know what I mean? He was like, I created you to look this way to for the uh, youth to come and ask about what I created, and then you tell them about me. And that's when I learned that was my job, you know what I mean? Rather. Like even with the music, music is fun for me. It's not something that uh that I just like, I gotta get these out, I gotta get these out. It's just something that's like uh I'll be laying around and if it hit me, I just get up and I start finding a track and start writing to it and then I get it and put it out there. Like it don't it's nothing nothing like something I have to do. My main best work, man, is actually face to face, you know what I mean? Like when I get a kid face to face or somebody face to face, because um, now they see, now they see, me, you know what I mean? Steady just hearing me, uh, they see me, you know what I mean? They see like, what are you doing with me? Like, uh, you know, that forever I had tattoos and braids, goals, but now they see me with, you know, it's it's the same image, dress, tattoos, everything. Like, so they already looking like, all right, he look like one of us, you know what I mean? And he is from where we from. And now I'm here and I'm telling them, the first thing they ask is, how you get this whip? Or, or you know, why, how you get these clothes? Or this and that. So the first thing I tell them is, Christ. You know what I mean? If you want if you want it, bro, this is, this is what he do. He'll give you this and more. You know what I mean? But I tell everybody, I'm not gonna lie to you. you know, when you working for God, it's one of the hardest jobs in the world, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. And I tell people, you gonna you gonna stumble. You know what I mean? Long, he already know you are. You know what I mean? You are you are going to stumble. Uh, with me getting a wife, man. Uh, she more like my like a parachute. You know what I mean? Like if I'm falling too hard, she yeah. You know, so I be trying to I talk to my cousins them about about you know the marriage thing. You know, when you do get your partner, uh, it's dope that you get to wake up too every day like you know like this my teammate you know what i mean so uh, that's just how it started creating me into to being who i am you know what's up it's crazy how you recognize that i right, god is blessing me so that i can draw in for him yeah. you know what I'm saying? and then show him that when they say well how christ yeah you know what I'm saying? And, and it's crazy how god will bless us and and, and prosper us in certain areas just just for us to realize that we ain't nothing and use it for his glory you know and then we see in, the, in our culture nowadays they're taking the same cars money and the same look and when the kids come and appeal to them and say man that's time i want to be like such and such they they say all right get money yeah. go get women yeah. go do this right you know what i'm saying and i think god needs an army of man he's calling and raising an army of man that's gonna say nah honor god honor christ and he gonna still, you can still have a nice car. You can still be swagged out. You can still have a tattoo or two. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna take off the the religion and just put on true deep relationship with Christ. Yeah. And it's like that's all over your testimony. You know what I'm saying? Like if a if a, if a young man or when a winning young man look at this and he say, bro, 
how can I get like him? What was, it, it, could he give me some steps or what was that defining or breaking moment for him that helped him just change and just, just stop banging? Stop uh, all that and just go the other way. What, what would you tell him? You know, to, to, you gotta change your, your, your environment first. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I mean, you, real talk, you don't even have to change that at that, at that first step because, um, what, what made me stop doing all of that? This, all right, we're gonna talk about it before my mom left. You know, before my mom left, she was already telling me, you know, uh, she was always telling me I'm her angel. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was, um, it was like she, like she knew, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, uh, and I was just um, always like, like, what is it that I gotta do? Like, what is it that he want me to do? You know what I mean? Like, and shit like, you ask him, just like you asking me, you ask him, he, he don't tell you. And that's when I started asking him after she left, you know what I mean? Like, and that's when I started telling you about this swag and then he start, he telling me all this at that moment, you know what I mean? And that's when I started learning it, you know, because my mom told me, you ask him, he's gonna tell you, you know what I mean? Like, people people act like it's a certain way you have to pray to, to hear, to, to talk to him when all you gotta do is talk to him like I'm talking to you, you know what I mean? It's that simple. But to change, for, for him, for any young dude out there that's, that feel like they can't uh, get out of where they from, that's the first thing you have to do, man. You have to build that relationship with him. Like, if you don't build a relationship with him, there's no way that you're gonna get anything out of it, you know what I mean? Like, there's it's no way that you can say, God ain't doing this for me, and you don't, you don't communicate with him like you know that's just like me and you like if if it was something that you needed from me and i got it and you know i'm gonna give it to you but you never ever yeah you never talk to me about it and there's no way i can give it to you i can't read your mind he can but he wants you to come out and so you have to yeah right like it's that's it's that simple however however you however tight you want to be with christ bro it's all up to you He's right there with his hands open. It's all up to you on how how much you want of him, you know. And, uh, and that's uh, that's that's it, bro. Like the thing is with 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 a lot of people now is that uh, they voting for the likes. You know, what I mean, they rather be liked than loved. So it's it's different now. You know, what I mean. So now you got the the with me, it was just real life now they have the internet and all this other stuff man that's interfering yeah social media is they they parents now they teachers and for any any kid on on the rise man like are that's they're just feeling trapped uh the thing that helped me man was i, I just ran back to the bible and i was just like i'm gonna read whatever whatever i fall on and proverbs was it and Proverbs gave me three things, uh, instruction, wisdom, and knowledge. And once I read that, I was hungry. I, I was hungry, bro. Oh, man. All right, last question. Tell me yes or no and why. All right. Is it important, how, is it important to have a wife Why? while chasing God and or and or what I guess I'm, I'm meaning is how important is your wife to your journey in Christ <laughs> man. man that's uh <laughs> that's the whole reason like I mean I just had man I mean in my life uh I'm talking about this tornado since my mom left 2011 it's been a tornado then all the way to now to where uh I just recently talked to one of my little brothers, man, and he, he told me that there was a rumor going around saying that uh, if I didn't meet her, I would still be doing what I was doing. I told him, I said, well, that's somebody finally telling you the truth, you know what I mean? Because I really would be doing what I was still doing. She's the one that started keeping me from going out, made me, you know, want to stay home. Or, you know, now, my, now I can sit and be still, you know what I mean? Because at first, I'm moving around, you know. That's why God, when He say, "Be still," you know what I mean. That's that's His moment to to get into you, 
when you're moving around and every paying attention to everything goes, there's no way you're gonna give them your attention. You know what I mean? So yes, it's very important to have a wife because um, I had to get disciplined with being with my wife, with the music. You know, my wife was uh on my head, man. Like I'm talking about when I first started, me and my cousin young father, man, we was we had been booked here and there, we go concert here, we in the studio, we we doing you know, events, it's just a lot of stuff. And uh I was not home like I supposed to, you know, I was out doing that. And so now my wife is feeling like, you know, you forgetting about us, which knocked me upside my head and was like, hey, if you're gonna be doing God's work, your first ministry is your house, you know what I mean? And your your wife and kids. And so um, I had to pump brakes, man, and I had to come home and get everything right with my wife and my kids. And once that happened, my wife was like, go back, let's take off. Like, you know what I mean? Now let's, now you need to take off. You know, now that we understand each other, we on this point, now you need to take off. So yeah, uh, for anybody, if you, if you, you got somebody, First, you need to make sure that's, that's who you who you really gonna be with because marriage is a daily job. Like, it's, it's a job every day. Oh, yeah. So, that's a, actually, that's a little bit of tidbit for y'all. Hey, women, if you're, if you're dating, for one, you heard you Make sure that's who God want for you. Yeah. Make sure that's it. I'm gonna tell people all the time, I tell women, cocoon yourself or bury yourself in Christ. And if he can get through there, he may be the one for you. True. You know what I'm saying? And and if you married and you and you a wife, you a woman already already married, man, we can't do it without y'all. Anchor us down. You know, y'all prayers and y'all y'all good character and y'all honoring God will often win us over. Yeah. So, hey, y'all heard it, man. Testimony Tuesday, man. I hope it blessed y'all. Um, I'm sure my brother make yourself available if y'all got questions or anything I'll throw his email in there if y'all just want to ask any more questions or or, or, or any you know anything else I can hear he'll open himself up make himself available for that but um thank y'all for supporting Words by Christian Ministries um thank y'all for the shares and the likes and the support we just trying to do it for the kingdom man do it differently um trying to do ministry a little different we trying to break all the traditions off and just win souls for Christ by all means necessary so testimonies is a big part that you never know how what you going through will pull the next man through that's how god designed it so we love y'all be praying for us be praying for y'all words way out <laughs>